We continue our countdown to the Super Bowl with some advice on making smart and healthy food choices at your Super Bowl bash. Matt Goulding is contributing editor to Men's Health magazine and one of the lead authors of Cook This, Not That. All right? Did I say that right? I thought I said deliver that. There it is. Cook This, Not That. And Matt Goulding is here. How you doing, man? Doing well. Good to have you. You all psyched up for the Super Bowl? Pretty, uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and a lot of times people would start with various kinds of liquid refreshment. Well, that, and that's the thing. You think it's basically it's basically a lesser of two evils proposition. Mm-hmm. You know, so either way, we're not talking about nutritious suds here, but right. you're gonna have to choose between a, a couple. So we start off with the dark beer. Right. Um, what do you think is healthier here between the Guinness and the American Ale? Oh, you mean between this one and this one? Yeah, that's right. Oh, uh, I'm going to say Guinness. I, th- I think that Guinness is actually vitamin enriched somehow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not going to, can't, can't promise it's vitamin enriched, but you're absolutely right. Ah! 126 calories versus 182 <laughs> yes. for the American ale. So you mm-hmm. swap out a six pack during the game, you're mm-hmm. looking at 300 calories with the savings. Do right. that. Once a week, every f- for the year, you're gonna say five power, five five pounds over the course of the I, year. Over the year, that's so. very good. That's right. So now, and these two, are we doing these two? Exactly. So if you want, if you're a light beer drinker, you're looking at an Amstel light mm-hmm. versus a Sam Adams light. What do you think? I'm gonna guess the dark one. Um, in this case, it's actually the Amstel light. The Amstel <laughs> light is at 95 calories uh-huh. versus 124 for the Sam Adams. So the wow. Amstel light is on the better side of the of the light spectrum. Right. You're gonna save over 30 calories. The actual lights you can go is Beck's Premier Light, 64 calories. Right. Can't promise you're gonna love the flavor, but <laughs> you know. So really, what we're doing here for our Super Bowl bash is we're trying to look for the lesser of two evils, as you suggested. And as we get to chips and dips. I'm just curious. Hmm. What do you think? So this is your traditional potato chip with what kind of dip? This is spinach dip versus versus the versus the guac. Okay. Now we know that guacamole has all kinds of great nutritional value, and so I'm gonna guess that the guac is better than the potato chips. Smart guy you are here, Harry. Um, (laughs) Indeed. So, listen, spinach dip is one of those faux healthy foods you think is great for you because it's got spinach, but the truth is that the base there is is cream. Uh, cream right. cheese, sour yeah. cream, it's a, a mixture of uh, dairy there. It's never going to be very good. Looking at 325 calories for about 10 chips worth. Wow. 200 calories here on the guac side. More yeah. importantly, you got a ton of healthy fat. It's not just great for your heart, but it's also good for satiety. It's going to fill you up. So yes. that's an important theme right. throughout the Super Bowl proceedings we're going to talk about. All right, so we have uh, meatballs here versus pigs in a blanket. Pigs in a blanket, that's right. What I'm going to guess pigs in a blanket are somehow better for you than the meatballs. I would love to tell you you're right, but unfortunately, not the case. Oh, good. Meatballs, 240 calories, pigs in a blanket, 400. The problem here is it is, isn't just the, the little dog. It's, it's more the uh, the buttery encasing in which they're entombed. Right, because it really is that it's that kind of puff pastry sort of it's, something. It's a disaster. So, 400 I mean, for, three for one of, those, of these? For three of those little guys. Oh, Lord. So, All right. Well, move on. Let's, let's go that. on here. All right. So, what, are we talking chili versus, versus Caesar? salad? Versus a Caesar salad. Well, it's got to be the chili. It feels... Because this is too obvious to be good, right? <laughs> That's right. Listen, salad 101, never hail Caesar. Um, you're looking at 1,000 calories here for this bowl. Oh, my Lord. Dressing, cheese, fried right. croutons. The best thing you could possibly do for your guests on a Super Bowl is serve them a bowl of chili to begin with. Ah. It's loaded with protein, loaded with fiber. Right. Sultans of satiety. They're going to knock uh, out hunger. You're gonna so you're not going to do up. mindless grazing through the rest of the game. So we have slider versus slider here? Slider versus nachos. What do you think? Uh, Two slider sliders versus, versus a small plate of nachos. Uh, I give up. I'm, I'm going to guess with the sliders. All right. Sliders are right. I think it's just a <laughs> lucky guess, but um, I don't think it, <laughs> you knew you're, not, you're not really putting any thought into this. No, I'm not. Now, 400 calories versus about 1,000. This is like weapons-grade plutonium. Cheese, sour cream, usually a bunch of fatty pan-fried meats. Sliders, not exactly healthy eats, but again, right. the lesser of the two evils, 400 calories. You're going to go ahead and save 600 calories by making that one simple swap. Man, you're, you're doing it all here. So we have two pizzas here. One has, what yeah. is that, this is, a do- this is a Domino's ham, pi- um, ham mushroom and green pepper pie versus right. a garden fresh pizza from uh, Papa John's. <sighs> I'm going to... I'm gonna say this one, the right. deep dish. Um, unfortunately, no. This is this is the wow. garden of evil here. You're looking at 760. I got, I got beaten up pretty bad here. 760 calories, right. 40 grams of fat versus 396 and 20. So you're gonna cut the calories basically in half, slice the fat in half. This is one of the best pies you can get in America, right here. There you go. So stick with the pickles. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Hey, my pleasure.